Greetings, it's Karen with the Pokey Dragon, and today I'm going to be just kind of playing around with some inks with a sketch of a cat I did. Kind of looks like my bear cat, um, but I made him a little bit fluffier. Well, a lot of bit fluffier. So yeah, we'll just get started. So first off, just going to use the waterproof ink that it, pen that I always use, the Faber-Castell in the small, to just get the outline. How was your day going? Mine's going okay. The sun's finally out, so you don't have to listen to me complain about the snow anymore. You know, until it snows again in a couple months. So the inks I'm using are my Bombay uh, Dr. P.H. Martin inks that I have. I'm using the blue, um, the violet, and the magenta. I also have black down in the bottom there. So I first lay down my layer of water just as a reminder, not going to go through the whole thing. Ooh, isn't it so pretty? It's so pretty. It's a pretty kitty with pretty purples. I like watching the ink kind of snake down and then feather out. It's a lot of fun to watch. Gotta make sure that when you do this, you re-wet some of the areas. They will tend to dry out as you work. Just kind of keep them wet, damp, moist. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. So I'm just moving the ink around a little bit. I dry it off, kind of soak up some of that excess so that the details around the face can come back out. You only have to wet the paper if you want to get the ink bleeding effect. Obviously, if you don't want that, then, you know, work on dry paper. Gravity is your friend in this case. Move the, it helps to move the ink around. So here I didn't re-wet it and the paper did dry out a little bit so I had to go back in and wet down some of the areas. So I wet the furthest area I want away and then I pull that in to the ink and then it kind of bleeds out like that. So I let it dry. And I wanted to get some black in for like the nebulous effect. Yeah. 
Here we have, to quote Bob Ross, a happy accident. I try to make the water pull farther away and then pull it into the ink, but I got too close and it grabbed the ink right away. So I just fought with it for a little while and eventually got it to do what I wanted it to do. These little blue eyes and little pink ear that I kind of boogered up there. Now to add the stars. I'm just using a very fine spotter brush. Oh, and obviously white acrylic paint. Using an extra small pen, I'm adding in the whiskers. And now for a pan shot. Oh, look at that pretty kitty. Made a little boo-boo there, went outside the lines. I can fix it later. Ooh, there we go. So if you like it, hit that like button, subscribe, bye.